What we will now be doing is uh, showing the proper insulation for a uh, cutlass lawnmower blade. We will be putting it on a uh, 48 inch walk behind lawnmower. First step is to remove the old blade. With the old blade removed, use the original nuts or bolts that come with it and mount it just like the original blade making sure that the silver tabs are facing up away from the grass so these silver tabs would be facing the lawnmower and the cutting knives would be facing the grass after that's done the final step is to turn your lawnmower blades and check for clearance before powering the lawnmower up. And you should be ready to go. Okay, what we will be demonstrating now is um, how to re take these lawnmower blades off of the lawnmower after the, or the blade tips after the lawnmower blade has been installed. It's very easy to do that. Bring this cutting tip back against the body of the blade, hold it against here, and just push forward, the blade tip pops off. Reverse to put it back on is just reverse order. Put it on, pull it out, and you're ready to go. We will now be demonstrating the durability of the cutlass lawnmower blade, which is installed on this 48 inch Great Dane. We will pound the um, 7 8 inch steel rod into the ground and then mow into it. This is a demonstration only and not a recommended practice, so doing so you would do it at your own risk. We can now take the um, blades off to replace them. And this is how the blade tip looks, and this is how the rod looks. <laughs>